Today we're going to automate some plugins using MIDI. So here's the situation. Some plugins don't give you the option of assigning parameters to track controls or uh, envelope lanes or anything like that. But most of them that do have that limitation will let you um, do a MIDI learn or a, some way of assigning um, a MIDI control to that parameter. And so I'm going to show you this first in Syntronic, where I ran into the issue today, where I really wanted to automate something, but there just isn't any way of doing it within the plugin. Um, so it's really annoying. Like if I take the um, the filter cutoff, really common one for wanting to automate. Um, when I go to the param button, it says no recently touched effects parameters. In the effects parameter list, there are only MIDI uh, CCs, which is pretty annoying. So what we're going to do instead is use the recontrol MIDI plugin. And so we can get this in front of the synth plugin by right-clicking on the track and going to MIDI track controls, show MIDI track control panel, which is actually the recontrol MIDI plugin. So this is now ahead of the Syntronic plugin, and I'm going to enable control changes. I'm going to switch this to raw mode because um, at least with the one parameter that I've previously automated in this project, it seemed to like the raw mode instead of the full resolution one. And they're just going to choose a parameter like CC16 or something like that. You can see which ones they are, like GP slider 1. Those would be fine for doing the automation. So putting that on CC16 and raw mode. And so I'm going to right click on this uh, parameter and go to MIDI learn. And then I'm gonna go over to the plugin, which got his name out. Sorry guys. And I can move this. And now this slider controls this knob in the other plugin. And also, the, it works with Reaper's parameter modulation, the track envelopes, track controls, all those sorts of things. That's kind of a workaround. So instead of connecting a physical knob to this plugin and having to um, write it into the MIDI CCs, writing it into the MIDI editor, you can use the automation modes. And I much prefer to do that. I find it a lot more intuitive and easier to adjust because it's sort of a mix decision rather than a performance thing often. But I mean, the lines are kind of blurred when you're working in a DAW anyways. So anyways, I've got MIDI CC16, and I click on parameters, and I show track envelope. And now this track envelope controls the um, plugin. So now I can actually automate that. Let's play this. And I want it to start like. Yeah, so that sounds good there. And then from here, um, let's put in a point and then bring it down to about, I don't know, here-ish. So you get the idea, you know, basic automation, uh, controlling one parameter. We can control five parameters within the re-control MIDI plugin. Um, and if you need more, you can always add in a second one. Uh, these take up no CPU or anything like that. They're just a go-between for, um, you know, for controlling MIDI and automating it 
on the track envelopes rather than inside of the MIDI editor. This can also help you with uh, virtual guitar amps. So I've got Helix Native here. Now this does actually have its own automation options. So if I move this and go to param, it doesn't see this as the actual parameter. So it's kind of the same situation. What you're supposed to see is like, if I click on drive and then click on parameter, it's gonna say drive at the top, like amp one drive or something like that. So we have to do something similar with this, right click. There is automation assigned, so we can set this to knob one. Um, there's even a little icon here to show that it's automated or it's enabled for automation. And then um, in the last touched, you see knob one. We're going to do this the same way. Um, how do I get back to this? Edit. OK. Um, we could do this the same way, and I'll turn that on to none. And if we wanted to do it with the MIDI CC automation, um, I do it here, and I think it's on MIDI Learn right now. So go to Show MIDI Track Controls. So exact same thing. Switch it to RAW mode, and we'll set this to 16. And I don't know. MIDI CC4, we can change this. Yeah, I, have, I didn't go through this. Um, before. You would assign this with MIDI CC16. It's actually pretty nice that there is like minimum and maximum values. A lot of plugins don't offer that. Um, I never really checked this out before, but I've got this on MIDI C16 and let's see, is this connected? Yeah, it's connected. And so you could automate either, you know, show the track envelope for knob one, or you could do it through here. Um, the CC16 one, and you could also alias parameters, so that's you know the amp drive, and show that in the track envelope, and so we've got amp drive available here, so we can automate it now. And just one other example is Amplitude 4, similar situation where uh, you can assign parameters with this built-in assign automation function. Um, but there are only 16 available parameters for DAW uh, automation, but you can assign it through MIDI. Click on MIDI Learn. Um, go over to the plugin again. Let's just try this again. Learn base, and in here, do this one. And so that, that's mapped. Yeah, so exact same thing as with the um, Syntronic from that point on. So I ran into this problem today with Syntronic, and it was really confusing why they don't offer that option when other IK Multimedia plugins do offer that direct plugin control, automation, all that kind of stuff. It's possible to work around it. I just showed you how, and uh, it's not that difficult to set up, really. A little time consuming. It kind of breaks the, uh, the flow of music creation, which is annoying, but it's not... Uh, it's, it's easy to overcome. If you run into this problem in the future, now you know how to solve it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Join our Facebook group, Reaper Blog Community. Support the Reaper Blog through Patreon and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials. See ya.